If you're using LLMs without connecting them to tools, you're missing out on some of their most powerful features. In this series, I'll show you how to use tools with Gemini, from running code to browsing the internet to integrating with APIs. But before we do that, let's talk about what tools are and why they are so important. LLMs produce responses by generating probable tokens. They take in a sequence of text and return tokens one at a time. Each token is generated from a forward pass through the model. This mechanism has been really successful at producing models that can generate fluent and nuanced text, solve tough problems, and write executable code. But LLMs have some limitations because out of the box, they're not connected to the outside world. When responding to user queries, they don't have access to knowledge outside of their training data, which means they can't return real-time information about things like the weather or traffic or the news. They also can't take actions like booking flights, sending messages, or writing information to a database. And while they might be able to solve math problems, relying on an LLM to do the actual computation isn't necessarily the most efficient solution. And that's where tools come in. They help us to extend the capabilities of large language models by giving them access to the outside world. Let's check out an example in AI Studio. So here I am in Google AI Studio, and uh, you can see over here on the right-hand side, there are several built-in tools that you can experiment with. Uh, we're going to try out one of those tools right now. So I'm based in Austin, and we just had the ACL Music Festival. So I will ask Gemini, who headlined ACL Festival 2025? And we can run this query, and you'll see that the model says that the headliners have not been announced yet, um, but actually this event already happened. So if we scroll up to the top, you can see we're using Gemini Flash Latest. And right here, it says that the knowledge cutoff for this model is January 2025. So that means that anything that happened after January 2025, the model doesn't have access to. But of course, we often need our models to have access to more real-time information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this query and refresh the chat. And we'll type in the exact same query as before, who headline ACL Festival 2025. But this time, we will turn on grounding with Google Search. And this essentially gives the model access to the results from a Google Search query. So you can see that this time, when we run the query, the model returns the correct answer. So it returns the headliners, as well as information um, on citations. So where did this content actually come from? Connecting Gemini to search is a great way to get access to recent information and to get responses that are grounded in citations. So you know where that information came from. And that's all for part one, but stay tuned for future tips on how to use tools.